So it's going to broadcast to YouTube and to my Facebook link. It won't let me do the Geeky Cool link. So, all right. But <laughs> we'll rebroadcast it. Okay. Hey, everybody. It's Larry Lytle from GeekyCool.com. We've got AJ also from GeekyCool.com and AB's Creation. And we've got Schmoot from... Uh, Schmoo. Schmoo Schmoo. from Schmoo. 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 from Scallywag Reduction. Yeah. I, I never say it right. I apologize. <laughs> Nobody I'm horrible. It's all right. I'm trying to right. say it phonetically. Well, AJ says it right. Then. So, so just correct me anytime I say it wrong. Or slight me. Well, they'll slight me across it. So let, hit me in this. Hit me in the chat. Say- that guy. You know, whatever. Okay. So, okay. Smoo- I just go, hey you. The, I'm just gonna start calling you the smooth from uh, the cartoon. <laughs> oh, the blue yeah, yeah, I always like smooth. All right. So anyway, we are here live at OzCon. Um, it, it's so far. Today's my first day. I know you both have been here yesterday, also. Yes. So, what do you think of the con so far? Uh, it's always great. OzCon's always great. The people are really cool. I love the team here. The teams, they're amazing, right? Yeah, they've been so good. Um, and, like, the attendees are awesome. Like, so many cool people and cosplays. And, um, I was yeah. actually uh, saying to C- CJ, the guy that kind of runs OzCon, I was uh, talking to him a little bit ago. This is my first time at OzCon. And uh, was telling him just a bit ago about how I feel like I've known all these people for years, even though I just met them yesterday. Right. Right? Uh, it's like just family. Extremely welcoming, extremely just just awesome people. Yeah. Awesome people. It, it seems anybody you go up and talk to from OzCon is not only happy to help you, but they want to help you. Yes. So they, they want to make the experience of being here better, uh, both for media and also for, for having a booth and selling stuff. They yep. they do a really good job and it looks like from yeah, what I've seen from we have Pikachu in front of us. <laughs> Pikachu. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. There now, is a giant inflatable Pikachu. If Pikachu forward. had the detective hat, that would be even better right yes. now. Yes. Because that oh looks like God. a funny movie. I don't know. Yeah. Seeing you guys' face in his, inside his mouth though is <laughs> like Pikachu swallowed somebody. Y- yeah. Yeah. That Pikachu takes, got really hungry. Wait, that takes Pokemon to, to a whole other level. It's so your level that way. Yeah, you right? would watch yeah. Pokemon that way. I, I would. That might be true. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this is his first year. Larry was here last year. I was here last year, right. I covered I, that last year. I have been here all but their first year. This is their sixth year. I've been here five of the six years. Um, and yes, the first time I was here, they were like, what do you need? How can we help you? And they're just awesome. And then the vendors, like some of the vendors have just become like some of my best friends. So they're cool. I have one over here. She's like standing in front of us. Um, Nikki, come here real fast. Yeah, come, come around. Come around. Come around. Come around. Say hi. Come right here. <laughs> right here. Right. Right. Come over toward me. Oh. So this is Nikki. Say hi, Nikki. Nikki. Tell them your business. Hi. Tell them what your business is. No. Okay. Studio, you gotta speak up. Yeah, the pants really the hot. Oh, with the thing oh. with allergies. Oh, yeah. So, Nikki does these amazing coasters and all bring kinds any of stuff. No, she didn't bring any. She, I stole her. She was over at a vendor space, and I told, told her, like, but yeah, well, come see Nikki. And I bought some of those coasters last year for my son, that was the Star Wars <laughs> one. He loves them, by the way. He, he's 10, Good. he uses them, thinks they're awesome, shows his friends when they come over, so yeah. I made uh, Star Wars ones this year, and they sold within, like, the hour that we opened. Good job, girl. I, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I got, last year, I didn't. I got the OzCon ones. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Because, you know, she loves me. <laughs> it's true, you love well, this me. This year, I gave you a Totoro. She Pencil did bag. give me a Totoro bag. Because <laughs> everybody loves me, apparently. This is true. Well, I don't know why. Because <laughs> you're awesome, AJ. No. So, well, that's what I'm no. going with. That's what you're going with. I'm going to scooch. All right. Scooch out. Thank you for joining us. See, you never know who you're going to see. That's right. Oscar. I will be right back. All okay. Right. I'm He's going to go, gonna go going cover, over there. cover the table. So, so, oh, we, oh, so, here's the thing, guys. We were here at this booth. We moved booths. We so, we could do this here. And Shpoo just went over there because we have some people, and yeah, I'm I'm trying to sell some like wands and some journals and all kinds of stuff. So. And you give some really cool stuff there. Yeah. If um, somebody can't make the Oscon, but they're interested in your stuff, where can they find that stuff? Facebook, AB's Creations. It's a really cool thing. 
And there's a lot of awesome handmade items over there yeah. that just rock. So. I kind of like hand make everything. <laughs> and people are always like, what do you make? And I'm like, what do you want? Exactly. Because you're amazing. <laughs> I don't like being called amazing. I know, she doesn't. She thinks Spider-Man's okay to be called amazing, but not herself. Spider-Man is my dream man. Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker is awesome. I mean, you know, I do like the dark, mysterious guys, too, but Peter Parker has that... Can I, can I curse on here? I don't think I can. No, you can't. Just, just you know, make it mild ones. You don't drop Pe F-bombs. And... Uh, dang it. I know, <laughs> no, right? Peter Parker has a smart-ass mouth, and I love that. He does. I love he that, does. like, snarkiness. I, if you met my son, you know I like the snarkiness. I mean, people are always like, what do you mean you like the snarkiness? I was like, have you met Dakota? It's true. It's true. You, you kind of trained him to be snarky. I did. I did. He, I have a 24-year-old son who's like, oh, my God. And how did AJ have a 24-year-old son <laughs> that she looks like this? It's called time travel, ladies and gentlemen. It's called time travel. Do you know somebody asked me yesterday if I was Benjamin Buttoning my life? That me? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> it just takes a lot of... Oh, never mind. I went horror movie on it. Sorry, guys. I'm watching You can go horror movie. It's okay. It we have a, a lot of horror movie fans out there. Okay. So, it takes a lot of Elizabeth Bathory to do this. Oh, nice. See, there you go. It's, it's a okay. true story, though. See, it's not a horror movie. It's actually a true story. I mean, people don't think that. People think it's like it's, she was a real person. Right. Right. I like history. I'm a geek. That's kind of why it works really well for me with Geeky School. It, it does. Because they're kind of what we do. So And, and you fit right in. You're amazing. <laughs> I bring the geeky girlness. <laughs> you do. You do. And we love the geeky girl. So. <laughs> so. I mean, there's not many of us. No, there's actually a lot of us. But there's not many of us who are like, I don't know, who are trying to break out of their shell. Most of us geeky girls are really shy. That's true. That is true. I did know that. Yeah. Either that or covered it up because of how it wasn't accepted at one point and everything else. Yeah, I, I never did that. Yeah. There's I no was group. always the geeky girl who, in high school, mm -hmm. sat in the library and ate an apple so I could read books instead of, like, hanging out with, like, my peers. Our comic books, I really liked to know. I, I got my comic books stolen in high school, though. And that sucks. I was the fat girl. Like, I got picked on. I understand completely. You were the fat girl? I was not the fat girl, <laughs> but I was the fat boy in elementary and up until up until middle school. I, I middle school kind of hit my growth spurt. And yeah. Then became the fat guy afterwards. So. I, I was the fat girl until about two years ago. <laughs> no, actually. Sure. You you look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. She's lost a lot of weight. She looks amazing. Again, I, I keep using weight. the word amazing, but it, I don't know what else to use. Awesome, maybe. Miss me. We did I, miss you. I always we, miss you. We were you. talking about how awesome AJ was, so... Oh, yeah. I, apparently, that's okay. still the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's fine. I don't... Yeah. We're getting ready to go MC the cosplay contest. Which is awesome. I'm yeah. so nervous. <laughs> it's, He's it's, not nervous, I don't think. Well, I like crowds. I like, like, well, like entertaining you, crowds. You've done the costume contest before, several times, haven't you? Me? Yeah. Nope. No, you haven't. I thought okay. you had. Nope. I, yeah, no, not but he's been on stage. Anyway. Not in stage. Uh, well, I've never but, seen uh, you on stage. So. I was going to say, I've, I'm used to doing, like, you know, performing with bands or okay. karaoke or whatever. So I'm, I'm used to entertaining large groups of people, but this one, not so much. Well, <laughs> and the fact that you're willing to do it is, is pretty cool. Well, here's the thing. So my favorite nerds, not my favorite geeks, because my favorite geeks are right here. Uh, but my favorite nerds, the nerd informants, yeah, were yeah. supposed to be emceed, but they had work commitment because they work in Branson News and Branson has a big big golf tournament that Justin Timberlake is at mm. he, he, if he's not Spider-Man I don't care yeah. <laughs> but they Mighty had to boy work bands. Mm. right okay. he's so, got to go back over so he'll be back so. I was gonna ask him a question so we'll hold yeah. that question but so the nerd informants couldn't make it which is oh 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 my gosh that's just the cutest thing ever so there's a little bee, by the way, a bee, a bee, and there's a little girl dressed as a bee, and she just gave Shfu, like a hug on the leg. <laughs> it was adorable. By the way, that just made my day. He got <laughs> hugged by a bee, and it wasn't me. Um, that was unexpected. Aw, there you go. So, yeah, the nerd informants couldn't make it. 
OzCon reached out to me and were like, can you do it? And I'm like, can you do it? Do I have to? That was hot. Uh, he, he's not used to having anything on his head, not even hair. But, but the hat is very small because I have a ginormous cranium, if you can't tell comparatively <laughs> to the other two. He's sitting behind me, too, yeah. kind of like, yeah. Um, and I like your bowler hat, though. I know it works, it, yeah, for, cool. uh, it, it works for the Riddler, but it is a cool bowler hat. I've got one at home. I'm sworn to it. So. Yeah, i got to make him another one. That would be awesome. That is something else I do. Wigs, hats, books. Why can't I not? Oh, he's gotta go again. <laughs> yeah. It would be, yeah. So. Um, well, it, it's good that we're having people come over and look for sales. So yes. That's, that's yes. a good thing. So. It's always good for vendors and artists. Support your local artists. Agree. Don't go out and buy art from like Target. I love Target. My son works at Target. Don't get me wrong; they have amazing stuff. But like, I don't want to go buy art that like a hundred thousand other people have. Right. Go buy art from local artists. Support local artists. I don't care if your style is like me, where you have like a whole house that is just comic books. Um, yeah, he likes my house. I do. Like, you walk in and there's a DC wall with comic book covers that I've made copies of. and they, I don't actually take comic books. I don't want anybody to think I destroy comic books, but I cut, yeah, I, like, I don't cut them. I, like, copy them. <laughs> but, yeah, support your local artists. And so that's really, really important. But speaking of the cosplay contest, I'm yes. going to go back to that. All right. Um, so They called me and they said, you want to do it. Right. And it's OzCon. So the people at OzCon, I have a hard time saying no to because I love them so much. And because of that, I was like, yes. But I needed to find a part to do this thing with that would make me comfortable because I get really social anxiety nervous. And... Yeah. Um, and also who has like great stage presence right. and who has performed in front of people for years. Like he's performed in front of people for like over 20 years. Right. So I was like, who do I know? Well, I just happened to know the Springfield Riddler scallywag guy. So I was like, do you want to do this with me? Right. <laughs> Cause he's funny and I'm not. Well, you're the straight person in, in that that's part. what he says or like Dakota my son says mom you're funny without intention right well, <laughs> like you say the, stuff and it's like that was funny and I'm like oh okay usually the straight man is that way it is very funny so but sets up the funniness so oh it, I have to it, set him up for stuff uh, a little bit but probably it'll just come natural <laughs> So, Can I mean, I make fun of him? Yes, that will come most definitely. Have you ever seen Abbott and Costello? I mean, that's I all. I know. All that Abbott does is make fun of Costello. And, Do you want uh, to come over so here? Do you want me you to join? Me? You want to join on? Uh, we're, on uh, we're on TV. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we have two. We at The cosplay contest, there's two. Two kids who joined the cosplay contest. That's it. And I'm really upset by that because there need to be more of them. But... Come What's in your name? Have a seat. What's your Jocelyn. Name? Jocelyn. And Jocelyn is going to be on the stage as well. And then yeah. we have. And this what are we one. dressed up as, Jocelyn? Um, I am a gymnast. She's a gymnast. That's yeah. awesome. Hang on. Hang on. Let's fix it. Come over here. Ooh. You're not doing it. Okay. <laughs> we'll let her do it. Exactly. Because she's going to do it her way anyway. She, you know her well. Well, I Raven. have a daughter. So, Raven. yeah. Raven, come back that's over so here. That's so Raven. Raven. Well, that's oh. a different Raven. So. That's that's a different Raven. <laughs> but so, that would be a cool that's, intermediate. That's role. Lex. That's Shpoo's daughter, and she wanted to cosplay as Raven. So I no, I'm uh, Raven. No, no, no. Come over <laughs> here. You, they don't see you when you look yeah, at the camera. Yeah, because it's this camera. camera. It's, it's this, this camera, camera. So you got to be over here. So no, I'm Raven, not she, Lex. She I don't really even is. know who Lex is. All right, Raven. We appreciate that. That's so, good character. Okay, so we're gonna ask you guys to go. Oh my goodness, she's hilarious. Um, so, go on over there, play. Like They're going to be the kids in the cosplay contest, and I'm, yeah. I'm not sure how many grown ups they're going to be. I don't know. I got to like, learn their names. Uh, I told Spoo, though, I was like, hey, um, any hard names you get to say. <laughs> exactly. You just hand the list to him when it comes to one. And your turn. Here you go. Can I just have him do all of it and not just be like Vanna White? Be the pretty one. Oh, wait, yeah. I have to be pretty. You are pretty. Yes. 
what was it we were doing earlier? We were talking about doing a a series of videos. Yes. And, and it was what you said you were the cute one and I was the hot one. I'm the cute one. I will go with cute. I'm the cute one. He's the hot one. And I'm not really the hot one. I'm just the sweaty one. That works too. And I think that's the intro. I I'm think that the, works. <laughs> Seriously. Welcome to Geeky Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the cute one and the hot one. And the oh, sweaty wait, one. the sweaty one. Sorry. The sweaty one. Yeah. Yeah, that works. That's fine. Um, no, we're having so much fun. I like hanging out. Like the conversations at this con are amazing. Right. That, that's an advantage of having a smaller con. It's much easier to have those conversations and get those conversations as people walk by. Right. People kind of engage because it's a. You know, I love a large con. I love going to Planet. I've been going to Planet Comic Con yeah, since the second year. Um, no, I'm sorry. The third year was out. It's now at 20. So I've been going. Wow. Mostly for 17 years. I haven't done it most I, straight, but yeah. I went to Vision Con yep. 20 some years ago. Right. You started out. And Vision, yeah. yeah. And then I was the Invisible Girl. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Like seriously, I went to Vision Con for years, and nobody even knew who I was. And then um, Sue Richards. <laughs> and then um, I went. I started vending at Vision Con in 2014. That's when I met Shpoo. And yeah. um, met a whole bunch of people, and then ten minutes later, I got introduced to the same people, and they were like, "Hi, nice to meet you, <laughs> Invisible Girl." And um, I have slowly tried to gain confidence enough to not be the Invisible Girl all the time. That's good. And you, because of your cosplaying and other things that you're doing, you actually are getting yourself out there. And now you're emceeing. I so. Now, our Vision Con is coming up. So, Vision I mean, Con is coming up. I hate to up. talk about another con while we're at a con. I mean, it's but a local it's, con. So. It is. So, it's in Springfield this year instead of Branson. Yes. It is they had in Branson three con. weeks. They did have Branson Con, which, which was, was awesome. Which was great yeah. for their first year. I yeah. mean, seriously amazing. It was. They had some great guests. Yeah. So, that's coming up. I actually need to talk to them at Vision Con because I put a thing in for press and never heard back. And so, I'm like, oh, I'll have to email Brandon. We need to, yeah. That needs to, yeah. Because I'm like... Because I went and, to talk to I don't know, it doesn't say who the press person is, but I know Brandon, so I'm like, I'm going <laughs> to email Brandon. Brandon. Isn't Brandon do Branson Con though? I don't know, his name is still on the Vision Con. I have no idea. Brandon, if you're watching, contact me, let me know if you're the person to talk to, or um, who to talk to, and or like, you whatever. know, like, Adam, I know you're still part of Vision Con up there in Springfield. That's true, Adam is, yeah. Adam yeah, is, yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe contact him. I don't yeah, know yeah. who to contact. I can contact Adam also. I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Vision Con. Um, I work a lot, like, a lot. Right, right. Well, it, Vision Con's also in a bad weekend this year. Oh, what it is it? Um, graduation weekend for Springfield, and my daughter just happens to be graduating. Junior. Somehow I have an 18-year-old. Again, I'm time here. travel. Look how cute we are. There's know, no right? way we have grandchildren. It's sweaty. I don't have any grandchildren. I but have grandchildren. Yeah, you have grandchildren. My grandson's the same age as his son. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about insanity. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your kids have the coolest names. Uh, kids have the coolest names. Yeah, Natasha and Logan. So yeah. I mean, you know, you, you went really geeky on the names. I did, but my wife didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you trick her? No, no. What happened was we had a book with a list of names, and she said, pick out names you want, and I picked out some names I liked. They were all and, and superhero They names. weren't all superhero, but they were a lot of geeky things. <laughs> and, and she's like, oh, I like this one. Okay. Well, and, and Natasha's actually, people will say it's, it's um, Russian. It's actually Greek Orthodox. Yeah, I know. It's totally Greek. I, it, I was married to a Greek man, yeah. my second one. Yeah, it's, it's a Greek name. We won't go into him, but no, I do know right. the Greek name. <laughs> it, 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 it's Greek. Uh, it goes to Russia because the Russian Orthodox is a takeoff of the Greek, the Greek Orthodox, Orthodox Church. So then a lot of Russians well, get named that. because Greek yeah. Orthodox Church is one of the oldest churches. Right, right. The uh, oldest Christian-based churches. Right. So it was Greek Orthodox and the Catholic Church ha happened around the same time. Um, Greek Orthodox took one thing where their priests can get married. Right. My yeah. ex-father-in-law was a priest in the well, Greek Orthodox Church. In fact, church. Catholic priests could until, until like the 12, Yeah, until, they, until yeah. what happened. Do you know why they stopped doing that? I think it was because they were intermarrying into, um, into um, royalty to make bad collusion stuff there. So, partially. But they also did it. Um, the, the Catholic Church stopped letting their priests get married because... 
priests would bring home stuff from the church, mm -hmm. and then when they died, their widows would think that that, that was their stuff. We went into uh, history. We're oh. talking about the Catholic Church and the Greek Orthodox. But so the I might have walked into the wrong podcast. <laughs> so, so the, the you never know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> you know, so no, so because the why the widows of Catholic priests would take their stuff that that they had brought home from work because right, you right. know men bring things home from work all the time. They the Catholic Church was like this is ours, and the wives were like no, and so they did away with it, and they were like no. Priests cannot get married anymore, and that's why. And the Greek Orthodox still let the priests get married because my ex-father-in-law was a Greek Orthodox priest. Well, and I think that's being looked at in the Roman Catholic his Church. Daughter's name. His kids' names are Logan and Natasha. Hmm. So very geeky names. Right. My kids' names are not geeky. It, we went with Logan. There, I had a student when I was a school counselor that was named Logan, the only one I knew. Okay. So I thought it was a very rare name, and of course I know the Wolverine connection, and Logan's Run is one of those great cult classics that I love. So I'm like, and so and this kid was a really great kid. Yeah. Um, and so, um, he, in fact. He tricked his wife into naming his kid after Wolverine <laughs> and Black Widow. I'm just saying, that's well, what happened. Well, Maybe he's a big well, person uh, Jackson, actually, <laughs> if you, uh, wow. on Geeky Cool, we've got Logan at the movies. Yes. Uh, Logan is the kid that I actually was thinking of when I'm like, hey, Logan's a great name because Logan was one, was my student at, uh, at Mary C. Early Schools, so when I was a school counselor, that was just a great kid. That's nice. And so now I knew the Logan's Run and the Wolverine because <laughs> I'd actually talked to his parents about it. Then I come to find out it was like the third most popular name that year. What? <laughs> oh. What the uh, heck? No, no. <laughs> what? Okay, seriously, my son's name is Dakota. It is not my choice. My, his, my first husband, his dad, was like, we couldn't decide on a name that we liked. So it was going to be Dakota if it was girl, girl or boy, um, which I got a mix of whatever. <laughs> it's a Dakota. And, um, but it's a fair statement. He would, to, the, don't don't go being like, oh, your mom talked bad about you. He doesn't care. No. Um, but his name, if I was going to name him, was going to be Balthazar <laughs> because it fits. You know, I had the exact opposite where I wanted to name my child Lex. Boy or girl. If it was a boy, one X, girl, two X. Oh, that's cool. I and, didn't know that. Uh, yeah. And my ex-wife decided that I was trying to name it after Lex Luthor. And I'm not even a Lex Luthor fan, but uh, we compromised by saying boy would be Alexander, girl would be Alexis, and we have customers again. You, he, <laughs> I mean, I can go over. A good thing, though. So I that's, can go. Um, no, so Dakota was going to be Balthazar. Yeah. That which would have been cool. If you guys know Dakota, you know how cool that would have been because. He does kind of rule my world, and he's the ruler of everything. So he would have been Czar. His nickname would have been Czar. But his name is Dakota Walker Friend. That's his last name. Right, right. Not making that up. And Dakota means friend, and Walker right. means walks with. So he's friend who walks with friend. Great. So boring. So boring. <laughs> I know. You guys, they could have meant Slayer of Worlds. I mean, come on. Seriously, my name is... Uh, People either love my name or hate my name. That's why I go by AJ. We just love you. We don't care what you're called. Nobody knows, like, hardly anybody knows my name. I, I, you, you told me once, so I'm sure I've got the message where it says. Because I was curious. Because <laughs> I'm a very curious mind, so. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem telling people my name, but people never, ever, ever remember how to say it. My dad didn't know how to say my name for years. He didn't know how All to right, spell it. I'm spilling it. Her real name is... Oh, hang on a second. I'm making a call. <laughs> yeah. You forget. We, we cut to... You Skype. forget. I know your real name. Oh. <laughs> we don't talk number. about it. <laughs> no. So I just go by AJ. Well, one, and when my my real name's like on a name tag, oh. do you know how many people like just stare at that name I put on my for name. hours? Going. And that's when you say... My eyes are up here. <laughs> Don't look at my name. My eyes are <laughs> like, wait, that's bad. That's the only thing I can get them to stop staring at is my name. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for putting that out there. Well, you know. Okay. So, all right. So, have you guys seen um, Endgame yet? I don't think you probably Most have. Most of it. <laughs> Most of it. So you, not, right. not in theaters. Sure, not in theaters. All right. Yeah. Things got leaked. 
I guess things did get leaked. I've pretty much seen the entire movie, just not in order. <laughs> not? Okay. All right. Fair I enough. Have, wait, I haven't seen any of it, but I've heard about it. Yeah. Well, I'm not <laughs> telling you anything about it until you actually officially see it. Very but, cool. But, uh, she, she knows. I, that's told he's much. told me everything. All the big plot points, she's been, she's been told. I'm not a spoiler. You know there's those people who get really mad about spoilers? I don't really care because if I want to see the movie or the TV show, I'm going to see the TV show and movie anyway. Right. right. He has to go. <laughs> it, it, I should have sat on the outside so he didn't yeah. have to keep getting up. But. It, it's a fair point. I mean... Yeah, I'm with you. If, if someone tells me but about I a movie, I can but, still see it. But I appreciate, he literally asked, he was like, hey, I want to talk about this, and I don't have anybody else to talk about because we're here at the con together. And he's like, do you mind if I talk to you about it? I did, that I appreciate. I don't want people spilling stuff on Facebook. Right. That's rude. Right. Doctor Strange saw this so many times, he didn't spill it to anyone, not even Tony Stark. <laughs> Um, that's from the last movie, not this movie, so, you know, you can't get mad at me for that. Right. Like, he I mean, saw... if you haven't seen off. the movie before, if you've not seen Infinity War, then you're, I'm sorry. you're way behind. You're right. It, you're going to be spoiled. Sorry. I... I... I cry. Oh, she's wanting to go get ready. What time is it? Well, we got, like, 45 Five, minutes. 45 minutes. Okay. I will come and pin the, the, the thing back before... Yeah, it's so far one Okay. Fine. It's fine. Let's just, like, I just want to pin it back out of your face because, like, I don't want you tripping on stage. This is safe. And this is Lex. Uh, Lex, everyone. She's, she's Raven. Like, she, Raven. she's been we, introduced. We, uh, yeah, she was introduced and made it very clear that she is Raven. She has the, she has Which, the attitude to match, so it's all good. <laughs> Look at her face. It's okay. You're a beautiful, so, beautiful Raven. The question is, you're wearing the uh, you're wearing the Riller outfit, mm -hmm. but if you're Raven's father, <laughs> that's, no some, that's um, some more true really statement. Tried it. Is that right? <laughs> so you're a demon from another dimension? Y yeah, yeah, sure. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm just I mean, I, I actually agree it's with that. It's a Riddle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, impressive. So, I'm so impressed. Like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's way more impressive than he is. <laughs> well, you know, you got to keep him thinking that. I guess. Yeah, just feed into it. It'll be all right. <laughs> so. Feed into the demon monster. <laughs> feed into the <laughs> great. Yeah, that's I mean, want, it's huh? either feed him or he eats. Like, I mean, yeah, he's like, that, that you is die. Difficult. Right. You die. Like, Lex was like, I was walking and she goes, you make me mad. I'm going to send a dimensional hole and you're going to just drop to your Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, their last name is Fair, too, so it, it works. That's true. <laughs> that is true. So, Fair. All right. So we've, we've got that part out. Talked about OzCon. <laughs> OzCon is going I great. Love it, it's uh, been a lot of fun. We'll be here tomorrow. We've got a panel tomorrow. So we're going to... Are we going to do this during the panel? I think so. I think we're going to do this during the panel. So Yes. At 1 o'clock, so we'll... One o'clock, one to two in the Red Bedroom. Yep. Here at the West Plains Civic Center. Um, if you guys are in the area, please come out. It not only is OzCon great because they support local artists and local cosplayers, mm -hmm. it's put on by the college, which is really important for education. Um, so this is a senior project for a lot of the seniors. Right, right. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it is a committee of faculty. It's a committee of volunteers and ex-students. And they work for, I talk to them all the time. They work for months to put this on and help their students succeed. Also, it's for charity. Right. So the charity that they're doing this year, I can't ever remember the name of it, um, and I'm sorry Sunshine. about that. No, no, Samaritan. Like it's Samaritan. Yeah, it's, it's the Samaritan Center, but yes, what's the, it's, it's somebody's first name. It's somebody's first name. And, and, um, and that is, if you go back and look at my article from yesterday about Oscon, yes. that is in there, so you can check it out. But every year they pick. A local charity last year it was a domestic violence charity right, right. which is something that is very important to me yeah, and, um, and I just want everybody and this year this charity helps people get back on their feet and after they're homeless and transition mm -hmm. from being homeless to not right. um, and because that's a transition that happens and some people don't realize that it's it's a mental transition right. as well as a physical transition right, right. and well, three learning how to do things right because I mean if you're homeless long enough and you're not having the ability to do things even 
wash your own clothes yeah. and know how to be able to pay the rent when you have a job and if you don't have those skills or you've not used them in a long time that is a huge it's transition. a huge thing and yeah. so this this charity helps people with that and every year oscon i mean most of the cons locally choose a charity right um oscon a lot of like they have an auction i just donated a, a journal that's going to be auctioned off a mermaid journal um a lot of the vendors auction off things and do all kinds of really cool things for the community and that's really important that's why i come back every year not only because the people are awesome but because i really really want to promote art one and local artists and kids i had a couple kids today talk to me about i'm bad at art no no you're not bad at art don't think you're bad at art art is subjective if you think you're bad at art you just haven't found the right audience or you haven't found your right style and you haven't found your confidence uh, art is all about what you want to do and somebody out there is going to watch it or look at it or enjoy it and I just I feel like more people need to put art into the world whether it's be it is through photography which I do a lot of and you do I do he does um, to like painting and drawing and writing which I also do a lot of sculpting all kinds of stuff and I have a problem with not figuring that whole like she's like a jack of all trades and master of none because I love all art so I have a hard time like settling into one niche but, but you're good at everything you do I'm good at what See, I show the world <laughs> Well, so many failures, dude. So many well, failures. Well, but we all have the failures when it comes to our, our type of art that we're doing. Yes. I mean, and that's a lot of it is without the failures, you don't grow to the point to where you get better at it. Right. And it's not a failure if you learn from it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, but, yeah. But if you're not good at drawing, yes. and you really aren't, there's something else that you're good at. You just don't know yes. it. It may be theater. It oh, could yeah. be, like as you said, singing. I can't drama. carry a tune. I can't either. I mean, I, I've got I, a story to tell with that. But, uh. <laughs> so I've been told I can carry a tune. So my son's a musician. Yeah, right. He's a bass player, right, singer, songwriter. And he's like, Mom, you don't have a bad voice. You sing a half beat behind. And he goes consistently. <laughs> he goes like it's a talent. He's like, it's a talent that you sing a half beat, not a whole beat. Right. Half beat behind. You just need to record your voice and then inlay it where it's supposed to be. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm nervous enough See, getting up and yeah, talking. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. Uh, Spoo, Spoo sings. Does he? Yeah. All right. He's, uh, he, he's, he, he can sing. I cannot. Dakota can kind of sing. He's really good with music, musical instruments. Right, so. right. I mean, well, he screams. My, my, the little Tell school, me your story. The little school I grew up in. The little tiny bit. You know, there were 125 kids in the entire high school. So it's okay. a tiny school. That's great. So, well, I mean, so I, it was, it I was know like, school's a lot smaller, but you yeah. know, 30 to 40 a class. And our class yeah. ended up having 25. Anyway, <laughs> so the choices were, for your fine art credit, the Missouri requires. The choices were band, which I don't play an instrument very well. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried to be a percussionist. Yeah, I never I'm not very good. Um, choir, which okay. I don't sing very well at. And art, and the same art teacher that had been there from kindergarten yeah. on was there. And she knew my art ability <laughs> was, like, no. No. <laughs> exactly. So I had to have choir. Uh -huh. Because that was like the worst of, uh, the least of the three evils. And I'm like, you if, could hide if, your voice? Well, if there was drama involved, I would have been all about that because I actually like acting. But that wasn't an option. So she knew how bad I was. And in fact, there was another guy in my class, a good friend of mine, who also was in the same case. Neither one of us could carry a tune. So it would come time for choir contest, and she would say, now, you two, do me a favor, lip sync. <laughs> wait, wait, your music teacher told you to lip sync? Yeah, for contest. Yeah. And then there was a point uh, in... Super cute. Sorry, guys. Uh, my little Hi. neighbor over here. No, she, you should come over. Yes. You should come over and join so in. So yeah. my little neighbor over here has been drawing all these really cute things all day. She's an amazing artist. Speaking of supporting local artists, you come, come, this side. come, yeah. come over here and show them. I was like, it's so cute. Let's, let's tell your name. Uh, Stevie. All right, Stevie. Stevie, so Stevie show, like right there, camera. 
Stevie's been drawing. She she makes wands as well. Her wands are different than mine. Yep. And I have no problem with that. People are like, what do you mean? You I actually sent one over to you and somebody. I saw they, didn't it like and they, they bought it. They okay. bought it. Because they didn't want my wand, so they might as well have them. It's totally right. different. It's right. totally different. And she's got amazing art over there. And she's been, she's been doing something I can't do. Speaking of things I can't do, I can't knit or crochet. She's been crocheting like... Scarves, Harry Potter scarves. Yeah. Right. And I see if some Jane hats over there. Uh, those are um, legally distinct from Jane hats. Right. right. <laughs> so the. Um, Fox is litigious. Right. They so are. the. So yeah, they're yeah. like they're like hats that if Not, you want to cosplay as somebody, you yeah. might see something similar. Pretty it's similar. like it's like the long scarves from from the Doctor series. Like you can you I can do it different colors. Oh, I love the Doctor. <laughs> the Doctor. Oh my gosh, I have somebody over at my booth. All right. Gosh, booth's not here. I'll, I'll get out of here. Oh. So, so, everyone's leaving. Everybody's yeah. leaving. I'm we leaving. can't everybody leave, so I will stay here and talk for just a moment. So, anyway, so we are having a great time at OzCon. We will uh, be coming to you live tomorrow for the panel, and uh, we're going to be talking some more here about just life in general. We're working on getting AJ and I a uh, a regular um, pod or a regular um, video caster, regular vlog for the Geeky Cool YouTube site, which uh, you can go check out YouTube Geeky Cool and um, maybe geekycool.com uh, for that because I think there may have been another Geeky Cool on there. But go check us out. Remember, Cool has a K, just like Cool in the Gang. For those of you old enough to know who they are. Um, we're going to um, continue to uh, you know, talk about all sorts of things with geekness in con here shortly. And I'm just trying to you know, talk while AJ is gone real quick to hold a little time. Let's see, what else do I need to tell you guys? We, uh, so we have Vision Con coming up in three weeks. That will be uh, in Springfield, Missouri. So make sure to check that out. There will be more information about that coming out soon. Um, and if you have seen Avengers, love to talk to you in a private IM. Don't want to make that a big Facebook thing, but or a private conversation if you know me personally. Love to talk about what your thoughts are, what my thoughts are. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to say a whole lot other than that. Um, one thing to know is the movie did not go the way I expected it to exactly. And that's because they kind of sold you a bill of sale with the... Uh, with um, the previews where you thought the movie was going to go a certain way and it really kind of changes. Talking about uh, the end game. That's, I wasn't spoiling, I was just saying there are parts of it where you're like, oh, wow, they're already doing that and I didn't expect that. Well, so. I would like to stick around, but it's 5.30 and yeah. the costume cosplay, or the cosplay contest starts at 6 and they're so. lining people up and, and I've got to get my... you need the MCs for the <laughs> costume contest and I need to go over there to cover I'm, the booth. I'm, I'm going to fail. You are not going to fail. You're going to rock it. She's going to rock it. I know she's going to rock it. Everybody knows she's going to rock it. That's why they asked her to do it. But uh, she'll do it, and then she'll have the confidence next year to just like, oh, yeah, I've got this. this is Here's the thing. If it was any other con, I might not have done it. Right. But right. it's OzCon. But OzCon is special. Okay. So, Bye, guys. All right. So we will talk to you guys more tomorrow, and have a great night. This is Larry from Geeky Cool at OzCon in West Plains, Missouri, and we'll talk to you later. If I can get this thing to stop. <laughs>